Luke was part of the Cardiac Challenge family and um, when we lost him over 12 months ago it had a really big impact on the community but obviously his family um, and it, um, he was a really inspirational young man. So this year for the Cardiac Challenge, which is from the 17th to the 19th of September, uh, Sue will be riding with the team, but also her wonderful mum, Anne-Marie, is actually, because she's unable to do the full bike ride, she's walking to Cooktown, which is just incredible. And it's a, a really beautiful way to, um, to remember Luke. I do it for two reasons. One, to sponsor Luke's, my grandson's spirit, because he was a very outgoing, encouraging person and he enjoyed the ride. And I am a person who likes to enjoy walking and bushwalking and be in nature. And so I support his dream he wanted to do with riding, walking. As a chef, I like to help people to make up their own menus get a little bit of an inkling how to serve food, how to set tables, how to enjoy dinners. And so my aim is, or I've done it before, is go <coughs> in people's house and have a look what you got in the fridge, then I know what to eat. I will walk in the garden, have a look if something is there you like to, and then I make a menu and design two course meal for you. Luke had always said that he started riding when he was 10 in the cardiac challenge and he said uh, after a couple of years I want to do this for as long as I can it doesn't matter where I am in the world. Fortunately Luke's no longer with us um, so as a family um, I will be riding and keeping the roses riders but this year again we're riding for Luke in his spirit. I don't think you'll ever fully um, you know, come to terms with something like that. But I am very grateful for the people around us and the Cardiac Challenge, especially last year. It's part of the healing process for us and the ride too. And focusing on something that's bigger than just yourself and your own emotions is certainly valuable. And the fact that the FNQ Hospital Foundation does such a great job for the community, it, it really, it doesn't, I don't know, it's just sort of all interconnected in a way. and. The Cardiac Challenge just gives so much back and we try and give as much as we can to the Hospital Foundation as well. I think in 2009, he'd always been involved in community activities for school like the cleanups and the land care. But I think when he saw a really big charity event like the Cardiac Challenge, that inspired him to keep going with that and then do other similar charity rides and get focused more on the community and, and giving back. He'd be part of ride organisations. Being a pack leader was an inspiration for him to actually not just be a part of it, but to contribute in, in a bigger way. Yeah, if Luke's taught us anything, you've just got to go out and embrace the things that you're passionate about and what you want to do. So it never even occurred to any of us to put a doubt in her mind.